everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. In today's video, I am going to go over some mini swap happy mail that I have gotten. I keep all of my mini swaps in a basket like this from the Dollar Tree. It's just one of those mini crates you get for a dollar. And as they come in, I put them in envelopes, I label them, and when my little basket gets full, as you see, it, it's close. Um, then I will do a Happy Mail video so you guys can kind of see what you will get if you join a Love RTS swap that I talk about all the time. I don't know that I'll be able to get through all of these today, but we're going to go through as many as we can and keep the video short and sweet. If I don't, I'll do another video tomorrow of Happy Mail, and I'm going to sort them by color so that I can put them away in my organization Um Color binders, which I have showed you, I will put Love RTS link below, so hit that description button. I will put my organization video and how I do my page protectors and I store my swaps, so definitely check out that organization video if you would like to. And I hope you will have some fun with me. Let's hang out. Okay. I probably shouldn't beat on the desk. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm excited. So I do sort of look at these when I get them, but I do not like 100% go through them. Some of them I was on several teams. Some of them I was on one team. So some of them I may have a lot and some of them I may only have a few. And I do that because I leave a spot open on every single team for myself, but we always have a few stragglers or I won't have enough to make a team, and so I will give up my spots. And sometimes that means I don't even get a spot, but that's okay because I get so many embellishments, and you guys bless me so much that I I am I'm just happy to have everyone have a good time. So if you have not joined a Love RTS swap, um, definitely come over, check it out. We are a beautiful bunch of creators who make beautiful things, as you're about to see. And yes, it, it's just, it's so fun. There's no wrong way. And when I say that, I 100% mean it. You cannot do it wrong. We all have different stamps. We all have different stickers. We all have different collections. We have different papers. And you will get a variety. And the way ephemera is going up, you will not get anything better for two stamps. Honestly, I promise. It's wonderful. And you're going to see that. I do want to give a shout out to Anne, who sent me some beautiful goodies and I want to share those. Sometimes I am very blessed by people who are very giving, oftentimes, I don't deserve it. Um, but she sent me a little penguin. Now, th remember, these are all the way from January because I wait for my swap bucket to get full. And when I get little gifts, look at that little penguin, I set them aside because I want to acknowledge that for sure. And then here is a tag and a matching little little card. Oh, so cute. And there's little Brad, Snowflake Brad's holding this on. How cute is that? Like, that is just freaking adorable. She knows that I lived in Montana. She's obviously watched my videos and she sent me a lot of winter things, which, yay, so pretty. Winter Wonderland, a beautiful title. I love titles. And she even put some little sparkly bits. Let me see if I can turn it so you can see that. Then she sent me some, I don't know if she fussy cut these because I think they're just paper or what, but um, some beautiful sentiments and I mean, this could even be a title. It's so big. Actually, any of them could. So I love that they're green. I get tired of blue and white when it comes to snow layouts and I have, you name it, you know, Easter's coming up and I'm going to, I'm going to find some pictures of my kids that I am going to do a layout for Easter and I'm going to show you. I have snow pictures for Easter, for Halloween, for, I've even got 4th of July snow pictures when we went to Glacier Park one year with my oldest two daughters. Like seriously, I have snow pictures coming out of my ears. Oh, so thank you so much for to Anne for those. Now, I could not, um, I could not run mini swaps without my captains. The captains are ladies who volunteer to do the actual swapping. I will organize the teams and they will do the mini swaps for me. Sometimes I'm a captain, but more often than not, it's one of these beautiful ladies. Um, I do run the main swap and I just, there's no way I could do it all. Organizing it is enough, let alone actually doing the physical swapping. So Miss Karen, 
sent some goodies for my captains and she sent them to me because I can sneak them in when I mail to them because I mail to them almost weekly. And so it would, I thought it would be cheaper for her to mail them to me and then I would mail them to the captains. So captains, if you're watching this, this is coming to you from Miss Karen Kilpatrick. She is the most giving, loving person and she has truly blessed my life since we have been chatting and I just, I adore her. I just adore her. So she's sending some pink paisley ephemera to each of the captains and a thing of tags. She sent me one also. And these are for the captains to use if they need them. Sometimes life happens and people are not able to complete their obligation of being a part or participant on a team. And that's okay. We are not a group that comes at you. In two years, I've only had to ask one person not to stop or not to swap anymore. And it was because it was chronic and she's a beautiful person and nothing against her. But it just, I mean, it, we can't hold up teams either. But once in a while, life happens for me, for my captains, for everyone. And so this will give the captains some extras that they can stick in because we do want you to get four brand new embellishments, no matter what. So very, very sweet. Each of my captains will get one of tags and one of the ephemera packs that she sent for them. That is just so, thank you so much. Because I know Karen will watch this video and I just want her to know she deserves a thank you for this. So my captains, I'm sure, will reach out to her and let her know thank you as well. Okay, so now let's have some fun. This is the Disney swap. And if you've ever watched me organize, if you've watched that video, you know that I go by color. I am learning that I do have a few binders. I have fall and I have Christmas that are um, set aside, but I did have like kid binders. Well, I still do. I'm gradually going through them. I just don't reach for them. I go by the colors of my layouts and I find something and I make it work. So I'm rearranging that. It's been a process. I'm not going to lie, but so I will sort these by, um, color as I go. So we'll see how many we can get through. We got about, well, 15 minutes left. So on this video, so this was the Disney swap. And if it says on the back who it's from, I will let you know. So we have, oh, we have a beautiful, look at this. This will go in my blue pile. And, and I'll just sort it as I go here on my counter. And then when I'm done filming, I will put it away. So this is, oh, look at this. Look at that. It's a little princess. Who is Cinderella? Isn't Cinderella in the blue dress? And a tuffet with a little, um high heel shoe you know she lost her shoe and a birdie and this is from Michelle so Michelle made this for that swap so I'll put this in the blue pile and I will store all those together in my page protector these how cute are these hands I'm just gonna lay them out here look at these they're so cute is there a name on any of them I don't know who made them because I wasn't the captain, I really, truly do not know. I get them just like you do. So there are those. Now I'm going to put these in white. That's where those will go. Then let's see, what is this little beautiful contraption here? It says, use sticker machine or tape runner to attach the pieces. Have Disney fun. Name goes here. And it was, it was like that. So, oh, 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 I bet you put your name right here. I bet it's a stocking. It's a stocking. Look at that. And here's the little, you know, the bow that goes on the side. And it's a mini stocking and you put your name on it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this would definitely go in Christmas for me. So I will put that in Christmas. And I do not know who it's made by, but very cute. Very, very cute. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Okay, so that will go in my Christmas pile. Now, when I have things that are by theme, I set them aside because it's usually not that many. And then I will just pull those binders out and put those away. Oh, I need to eat breakfast or something. I'm shaking like crazy. Okay, trust me, I probably really don't need to eat. <laughs> All right, so here looks like some little mini heads. Let me get a piece of, well, I can use the envelope. Some some little mickeys these are too adorable look at the time that probably took to tie that tiny little um twine bow oh my gosh i think it's actually like um in, in border floss oh and look like the little cookie the bites of the cookie oh and this was made by Jeannie. she sent a little little um hexagon with her name on it i love that and she put the name 2022 and she sent three of each. So three minis, three Mickeys, and then the Mickeys with the little cookie cut 
Those are so cute, so cute. Now, I see red, that's what I see. So, I used to have Disney in its own theme, but I don't do a lot of Disney. I have five kids, and I've gone to Disneyland three times. Three times. Do you think I have a lot of photos? I do not. Because this country girl, when she went to Disneyland, was freaking out I would lose one of my kids. And when you have three to five kids, some of them in strollers, some of them toddling around, you don't think about photos. You're thinking about making sure your kids are not kidnapped. So I'm a little paranoid. I watch too much Dateline, but that's how it is. So I don't have a ton of photos, but I do do layouts. So I will put that in red because I will see it faster and I will use it faster. That's what it's about for me. Okay, so there's Disney. The next swapped was Memories. I just put these in order of the swap as they went. Now this will go in green for me. A cute little journaling block I think you could use it as. You know, you could write on there. That's really cool. It's layered and it has three layers, a backing, a green, and then the top. This is dainty. They took the time to glue that on. Um, I think it says, I think it says Anne. I think this is Anne's. I want, yeah, I think so. Ann Osner. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. It's really faint because it's on black, but I do believe who that is. So I, I will make a green pile. This one says Memories. That was the name of the swap. Now you could use Remember, Memories, um, This Day, you know, anything that made you think of that. I love this. Look at the pretty flowers around and it's, it's layered as well. Make a very cool, like you could do a cluster around this and then journal. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to put that in green too, because that's the first thing I see. I just go with the first color I see. Then this one, I don't know who it is from. It says good times. And then it looks like there's a bunch of sentiments inside of it. So remember this, and then just a hexagon. Let's see if there's a name on it. Awesome. That's cute. <laughs> Today. And Happy day. Look at, isn't that pretty? A border punch. This is a really good way to do like, you could do some scraps and do a whole bunch of these and just not leave something, some room here instead of stamping. And then you could just have them by color. Oh, it's just food for thought. Remember this again. So I would probably, none of these have a name on the back, but I am probably, I am not probably going to sort them by color because I'll use them faster this way. So I will put this in black and white because my black and white binder is together. Just find that a lot of things are, are like this, you know, it's edged in black, but the hands are white. So this, I have yellow and gold together. So I will make a yellow pile after I move this stuff. We'll put this one in blue. These two will go together in green. I will make a pink pile and I will put this in blue because yes, I will use this. I will definitely use that. If it had a name on the back, I would pencil the name. I always keep a pencil next to me and I would pencil the name on there so that when I used it, I'm getting better about it. This one says life in photos. Oh, cute. And then it has a little camera. <laughs> that is so cute. Um, Jack A. Mars made this and we'll just fix the little E just like that. And we can glue that down. That's all right. And that will go in green for me. I, and it's layered. I mean, you guys, like people take the time. You, these are beautiful embellishments. Okay. So then this says the most treasured heirlooms are the sweet memories of family. I love this. Love this. The first color I see is yellow. I don't know who made it. This is a pretty um, fabric bow that they made and put on there. So we're going to put that with yellow. We're definitely putting this in red. Shared memories and a beautiful layered flower here. There's like one, two, three, four, five layers on that flower. How pretty is that? And we'll have to glue, pardon me, glue that down. Oh, and this is made by Miss Paula Green and I will put that in red. I'm gonna take a little drink. Then I have Remember, look at the flowers on this. I'll sit this up there so you can, you're gonna hear my water bottle cricketing. Look at the time they took to center this. This is layered, this is layered. I mean, you could put some little gems in here. I see brown first, so that's where I'm going to put that. I need more room, I need more room. I'm a, I don't know if you'll be able to see this off to the side, but I will set that there. And then this is Mills and Memories are made here. This is by the beautiful Michelle. She made that. This is why, like, things like this, this beautiful title are things that, oh, 
I use them up so fast because it's a title and I can just throw it on a page, right? Now, a lot of these you could totally use on cards too. Like how cute would this be on some foam up on a, on a card face? It really truly would. And take a stamp and do some flowers and color them. Be pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put that in brown. Then this says special memories. It has a camera. It's like a little cluster. It's a bunch of little pieces put together. Oh, this is speaking my language. I do not know who made it, but this is absolutely wonderful. And so then I will put this probably in pink. I think pink, peach, they go about the same for me. This is a cute, cute little die cut bird that they fussy cut it looks like or die cut one of the two and a stamp memories on a peach piece of paper. And this was made by Leia. And she even put some wax paper on the back of the sticker. So this must have been a sticker. And um, that way it doesn't stick to any other embellishment or in your binder so that you could store it. That was wonderful, wonderful and great idea. I love that. Put that in pink, first color I see. Remember this, another journal block. Look at this, this is so neat. I've never seen a frame like this that had like a, what would this be, like a tag attached to it? That is really, really cool die. That's fun. That's really cool. Um, so she layered it and you could journal or you could stick um, embellishment flowers inside of there, whatever you like. Um, I don't know who made it, but it's actually very pretty, pretty, pretty. Someone um, sent just a title that says Precious Memories, and we could take this out of the thing. I'm going to assume that they reused packaging. Um, I don't think... I think they made it. I don't think they bought it. And this was made by Laura. And isn't that pretty? There's like three different colors here. There's the black backing. Then this light teal is cut out. And then this is, you know, um, die cut out and layered on top of that. That's very, very detailed. I mean, she had to make four of these. It took her a few minutes to do that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to put that in blue because... Technically, it's teal, but it's the same binder for me. I know, you know, what colors are in. I have blue and teal together. I have green and brown together. So, I and peach and pink together. So, that's how I do that. Let's see. Where are we at on time? Let me see here. I got something on my phone. Sorry for the finger. Okay. We'll do Let Me Call You Sweetheart, and then we'll call that good for today. I will put them away, and we'll do some more tomorrow. Okay. So, this was Let Me Call You Sweetheart. There's some doilies here. And I'm going to put those in pink. I do not know who made them. Um, the captain may have even sent me those. I'm not sure. Now, this is packaging that somebody's was in. I believe it was this one. I could be wrong. And I keep this because it's like see-through. And I have put these on tags before. So I will keep this to reuse. That will go in pink. I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot of pink in here. Because it was Let Me Call You Sweetheart. It was around Valentine's Day. So this one here, oh look, do these match? Maybe this goes with this. These, this was made by Linda Holt and I think this whole set was, yeah. So she stamped this and colored it, put some washi tape and then there is also so a little XOXO, how cute is that? And then she sent some little bits with it, some little hearts she wrote on the back and this one was made by Linda also. Now, she may have had to substitute. I'm not really sure why I have two from her. I may have been on two of her teams, to be honest. I don't know. Um, this is beautiful. I love this. And it might even go with that. I'm not sure. A little bit different colors. Who knows? But those are gorgeous. Now, when I store these, if you know how I store them, I put them in the page protectors. If it has little bits that go with it that match then I will washi tape the little tiny baggie. And I just have little baggies that I've bought off Amazon. They're little jewelry bags. And I washi tape them to the back of it and or store them with it. Okay, so this one is the love of my life. It has a beautiful poem. You can just screenshot that or pause it if you want to read that. And I'm not sure who this is made by, but I'm pretty sure this is vellum on top of some gorgeous cardstock and then some washi tape. That is pretty. This would work really good if you have one photo for like that Valentine's dinner and you could make a grid with these, right? Like two, that would be awesome to do with. This is a layered um, title on a big heart. It's, it's almost as thick as chipboard. And then she gave some bits to go with it and this was made by Lisa. This is gorgeous. Like here's a heart and there's little tiny hearts. All these can go with it and you can make little clusters. That is beautiful has like a gold 
I'll kind of, I'm going to put it with pink, but it does have gold in it, gold leaf, gold, what do people call that? Foil. That's what it's called. <laughs> people call that. I don't call it that, apparently. <laughs> Okay, this is a beautiful doily that someone used some ribbon on. They also made a square and put burlap on that. There's like one, two, three. I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure this is one. Like it has little flowers, but I think it's just one ribbon. And then a heart that they've stamped love or it had love on it and a rhinestone. How cute, how cute is that? That is just adorable. Love that. Here's a beautiful typewriter that someone stamped and layered with a backing. It says Happy Valentine's Day. It's very, very cute. Not sure who made that, but it is beautiful. There's no name. Then oh, there's something on this. I don't looks like some washi tape residue. Oh, I don't want to hurt it. Okay. Um, this was made by I believe her first name is Jessica Roosh. Um, I'm, if I say your names right or wrong, bear with me. Have some grace with me because I have five kids. I don't even say their names right. And I named them. So <laughs> don't be offended. Some beautiful way to use scraps. You guys know scraps are my jam. And I, it's just a couple banners with the heart. And it's a tag that you can make yourself. I love these. Uh, these are so easy to use. And you can make a journal spot out of it. You can do whatever you like. Put whatever ribbon you like. Because our mini swaps are minimum. We try not to tie or any of that to bulk it up. So, so the two stamps are enough. I've talked about that in several of them. This was made by Linda Phelps. And she has goodies with it that I washi taped to it. And... Pack your bags. Who doesn't go on a getaway for Valentine's Day? And then she sent some little banners and some little um, squares that match the paper that she used on the front to make the words. Isn't that cool? Now, the first color I see is yellow, so I'm going to put that in my yellow pile. All right, you guys, that's today's. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six swaps. I don't know. This might end up being three videos. <laughs> Who knows? I'm just going to try to do a few um, maybe each week I've let them built up enough. Maybe I could do a few each week. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I hope that you have a blessed day. I hope you will like and subscribe. Come and hang out with me and be silly. And later on today, I'm going to do a layout with the warehouse box. And with that said, I'll talk to you later. Bye.